What is deviceless mobile testing? How do you see more of what Selenium is doing under the hood? And has performance engineering finally arrived? Find out in this episode of the Automation and DevSecOps News Show for the week of March 20th. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's do this. This episode of the Test Skill News Show is sponsored by the awesome folks at Apply Tools. If you're looking to take your automation project to the next level, look no further than Apply Tools and their visual AI validation testing. Trust me, it's a game changer. Plus, you could try it out for yourself now by creating a free account. Just click in the link in the comment below and see the difference for yourself. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe to get alerted every time I release a new episode. First up, automation news. So what is deviceless mobile testing? I was actually speaking with the folks at Loadmill on a call the other day. Ian, one of the founders, said the term deviceless mobile testing. And I was like, what the heck is mobile deviceless testing? And they told me after working with multiple mobile-centric companies, they came to realize that because of the many challenges involved in mobile test automation, most of them still test their apps manually. And they found out that by capturing API calls from mobile apps and transforming them using AI into automated tests, they could achieve a higher automation coverage very fast. So they launched a new deviceless mobile testing solution and are inviting companies to see a customized demo running their mobile app. And if you actually go to loadmill.com, you can request a demo to actually see this for yourself. I actually had Loadmill on my podcast uh, last year. And after hearing more about the solution, I thought, wow, this company is really going to take off eventually. So I was really excited to hear about this new initiative for deviceless mobile testing. So if you're doing mobile testing, you find it very difficult to do because it's slow, maybe it's flaky, or you find it very expensive, you need to check out this new approach to API-driven testing. So definitely check them out, book a demo, and let me know what you think. And you can find the links to this in the first comment down below. Do you use Selenium, but you just want to learn more about how it works behind the scenes? Well, I found this tweet from Titus talking about a new solution he created that actually logs all the information so you can do just that. So Titus tweeted the other day, hey, Selenium HQ users, have you wanted to see more of what Selenium is doing under the hood, but you don't know how to navigate the logs? Well, he wrote a jar file that actually lets you do this. So if you're using Selenium for a while, you know that most of the useful information for Selenium users gets quickly buried in the logs by default. But this package is intended to provide a means to quickly get the most useful information. The code is only one example of what can be done. And this goes over how to install it and how to use it and what the log output looks like for you. So thank you, Titus, for this awesome utility. I'm sure a lot of Selenium users are going to find it very useful. So thank you. All right, so last week I reported how Tag UI RPA, the open source solution, is going to be discontinued. And then someone on my YouTube channel, but Manny Kamar in the comments said that he heard that Tag UI is going to have a small group of seven people working on an open source version. And I thought I saw something by Ken on LinkedIn mentioning this, but then that post is no longer there. So now I'm confused. I don't know what's happening. So for an alternative to Tag UI, you should definitely check out Python RPA. So I updated a post I wrote on this last year on the best automation tools for Python. And I added to this list RPA Python to replace Tag UI, which was here previously. And this just goes over what the RPA Python is, what it can help you with, and also a link to get it from GitHub as well. So if you're looking for an RPA alternative from Tag UI, definitely check out RPA Python because I think Ken mentioned or someone mentioned that they may be developing this even further as a replacement for Tag UI. A lot of times I get asked, how do I automate my React application? Well, I have a real world example just for you. So this is a blog post on how to set up effectively code coverage in React applications using Vite for component and end-to-end test with RTL and Cypress. Goes into more detail about what is component test and what about code coverage. And it has some code examples of how to achieve this. So if you're doing anything with React and you want better code coverage and using Cypress, definitely check out this resource and you can find it in the first comment down below. So we mentioned how mobile testing is difficult, but keeping up with mobile testing is just as hard. So if you're trying to keep up with the latest with mobile testing and test automation trends, I have a resource from, for you from Motaz. So I've spoken to Motaz many times on Apply Tools. If 
future of testing and TAU events. And I was always, always impressed by his knowledge around mobile testing. Well, he actually posted a bunch of resources that he created to help you with mobile testing. And as you can see, there's over 21 articles related specifically to mobile testing, like the beneficial AWS services for QA engineers, running your security statistic test for Android apps, test automation frameworks, buy versus build. Uh, there's so many to go through, but you can read for yourself. And I'll have a link for this to all these articles in the first comment down below. And thank you, Motaz, for this awesome resource. All right, so we've spoken a lot about ChatGPT. They just released a newer version of it, ChatGPT4. And on top of it, they made an API recently available. And so this article on Wired talks about how ChatGPT API is here. Let the API gold rush begin. So a lot of people I know are still down on AI and ChatGPT. I think it's only going to get better and better. And a lot of companies, now that this API is available, are going to start creating services around it. And so one of the first that I've seen is Microsoft. So I'm not sure if you ever heard of Power Automate. It's like an RPA solution from Microsoft. Well, they just integrated this with Copilot, which is based on OpenAI. So this new advanced AI-based Copilot is integrated directly into the brand new Flow Studio and provides assistance with every flow that is being created or modified. And the article goes over a little more detail how to create a flow from a description and how Power Automate uses OpenAI codecs to translate your description into code and then provides a corresponding flow that you can create instantly. So I think this is a really cool innovation. I think things are going to get even crazier throughout the year as more and more companies start integrating with these AI-based technologies. Next up, performance and site reliability news. Are you a performance engineer or a performance engineering leader? Well, I have a bunch of recommendations for you based on a recent study. And so this was posted by Eric on a Gartner report, Innovative Insights for Performance Engineering, where they learned several recommendations for performance engineering leaders. And so this links to a blog post that goes over the insights they took from this particular report. One is moving from performance testing to performance engineering is definitely a trend I've been seeing more of. Everyone owns performance, so they're shifting left just like everything else in the software development lifecycle. How browser-based testing is becoming more and more of a thing. We can some other key insights as well. So if you do anything with performance testing and performance engineering, you definitely should check out this blog post and the report, and you can find it in the first comment down below. Next up, security testing news. This next article comes your way via Kim Crawley on LinkedIn on Kali Linux. And so this is all about how Kali Linux 2023.1 release, Kali Purple and Python changes, has just been released and why you definitely should check it out. In the blog post, Kim linked to goes over what this release includes and how it's the 10th anniversary of Kali, goes over the change log, what is Kali Purple, what's in Kali Purple, with some screenshots and some other awesome information. So if you do anything with security testing, definitely check this out because I think it's really going to help you with your security testing efforts. And for links of everything of value we covered in this news episode, head on over to links in the first comment down below. And while you're there, make sure to check out our sponsor, Apply Tools, free account offer, and discover how to take your automation testing to the next level, leveraging visual AI. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe. My mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end -end full stack pipeline automation. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.